when you're out doing this on St. Patrick's Day, you should also be thinking about staying safe. I'm Noah Cornelius, reporting in Green Bay, where I spoke to members of the bar community about a responsible St. Patrick's Day. It's no secret that alcohol is a big part of St. Patrick's Day in the Badger State. According to data from the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation and the University of Wisconsin Population Health Institute, Wisconsin has seven of the ten drunkest cities in the United States. The top three, Green Bay, Eau Claire, and Appleton. Bar owner Brian Bunk Bunkelman says it's a sign of how we celebrate, but also a reminder. Safety must be a part of the holiday. We, we have a great staff that understands when somebody is getting to that point, they need, they need to have water or they need to be walked to the car, that sort of thing. Director of Development for On Broadway, Brooke Hafes, wants the district to thrive, but not at the expense of anyone's health or life. If you enjoy uh, a libation this weekend, make sure that you have a designated driver um, or a safe ride home. There are a lot of resources to help you, you know, find that safe ride home. Brown County Tavern League president and State Street pub owner Tara Hansen had more to say about safety. There is a very easy app that the Tavern League has that you can download on your phone. It's a tool already in your pocket if you're unsure about getting home. You can look them up. You can see which bars will have safe rides um, available for you, which are free. In the end, everyone I spoke to about this weekend said the same thing. Drink responsibly, get home safely, and don't drink and drive. In Green Bay, Noah Cornelius, NBC 26.